Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to continue on my saga about gray hair and I'm going to talk to you about how I don't let gray hair define my life. It is just a color, it's just a stage of life that I'm going through and I expect to have more stages as I get older and I'm not afraid to discuss these don'ts that I will not let happen to me now that I'm approaching 65 and I have gray hair. When I say don'ts, I mean things I will not give up. So one thing I won't do is I won't give up exercising. I have had to adjust my exercise routine. I don't want to hurt myself. I don't want to overextend my abilities at this stage. My wrists are weaker, so I can't do full-blown yoga anymore, but I do keep active. Even if it means just putting weights on my arms and my legs while I'm walking, I try my best to keep myself active and doing the physical activity that is within my well-being without, again, doing any harm to me. My intention is not to say I can do what I did when I was 25 because I can't. And my intention is not to though become stagnant. So exercise and not giving up mobility is very important to me. My second don't is I don't give up trying to dress appropriately for my age and I will not forego getting dressed nicely every day. I roll out of bed and I will not walk around with my pajamas on or my sweatpants on or wear elastic pants every day because that is not the way I lived my life before. I can still be comfortable and look nice. I will not go out of the house wearing pajama bottoms or wearing jeggings really because those don't suit me and I prefer to dress in street clothes that are nice and appealing and fit me well. I don't feel because I am not working anymore or that I don't have a defined place to go with a dress code that I shouldn't give my all in dressing appropriately or dressing nicely. I enjoy dressing up. I enjoy wearing colorful clothing and I enjoy wearing things that make me look attractive. The other day I was wearing my turquoise cowboy boots and I must have had four people tell me how much they loved them and I felt very confident wearing them. I felt very alive and vibrant and I did not feel like I was trying to hide by wearing dull or unappealing, unattractive clothing. I think that everyone, if they're even on a tight budget, can find beautiful clothes, just go thrifting. And if you're not sure about your style, when you're thrifting, you can afford to even buy things that are out of your comfort zone, try them, and some stores you can actually return them like Goodwill. And if they meet your needs, try wearing them and seeing how you feel in them. Give it a try. As far as makeup goes and gray hair, I don't intend to ever give up my makeup routine. I will always moisturize my face, cleanse my face, and use foundation with SPF in it, especially now that I am older. I've just had to tweak the colors that I use because now that I have gray hair, everything looks a little differently on me, as well as the color of the clothing I wear has had to change. But I will not give up putting on my makeup. I feel it makes me feel confident and put together. It covers up any imperfections I have in my skin. No, it can't make all my wrinkles go away or prevent the sagging from going away, but it definitely makes me feel like I am ready to meet the day head on and that I'm not afraid to go out in public. I don't feel like I have to apologize for the way I look. And I think it's something that I will never give up. So one of my don'ts is don't give up on your facial routine. When traveling, another area where gray hair can be a deterrent is people think right away you can't manage. You can't manage the arrangements of climbing the stairs or making the hotel arrangements or getting from place to place or getting on the bus or the train on time. And everyone seems to think that you need to just stay home. Maybe they want you to even stop driving at a certain point and not travel by car. So 
you have to remember that you can't let people around you dictate how you're going to live your life just because you have gray hair. I know that I like to travel and whether it's an hour from the house or it's 15 hours from my house, I will manage and I can do it fine. I don't need someone's permission to do it. I don't need help doing it. I know how to manage my finances, manage my credit cards, manage my timetable, and I know where I'm supposed to be and when I'm supposed to be. So don't let the idea of traveling scare you off. Keep doing it, do it as long as you can. Just remember your limitations. Don't go on a hiking tour if that's something you physically can't do. Don't go out to a beach resort if you had skin cancer and you can't lay out in the sun. Just know your limitations, but don't let the gray hair keep you from going out and exploring and experiencing the world. Keeping ahead of the game as far as your reading, writing, comprehension skills is really important. Once you turn 65 especially, or you start having gray hair, people think your mind has turned to mush, that you do not know how to sign a document, comprehend what is before you, or that you can't see correctly or hear correctly. Make sure you have your reading glasses if you need them. Make sure you have a hearing aid if you need them. Make sure that you can still hold a pen and sign a document if need be. Also, make sure that you are computer literate to some degree. It is imperative that you are computer literate. If you can, get a quick brush up course at the local college, but make sure that your grammar, your comprehension, your writing skills, your hearing and your reading and your eye skills, all that is in place. Because people right away, when they see gray hair, they think they need to do the thinking, the talking, the listening and the writing for you. And that is completely wrong. So don't let yourself fall into that trap. Don't let yourself be considered feeble-minded. The last item I want to focus on is don't lose your independence. Keep it as long as you can. I know people want to be helpful and want to be kind and want to be nice and they want to do things for you, but don't constantly let people intervene on your behalf. Try to do as much as you can on your own. That is what's going to keep you independent and vibrant and socially aware and you don't want people taking advantage of you. So please try to be as independent as possible. And if independence means learning something new or changing that hairstyle so that you look more confident or going out of your way to exercise more so that you don't feel tired and weak all the time, these are the things you need to do to maintain your independence. There may be a time when you are not going to be independent and it can happen to you at any time. It can happen to all of us or none of us. It just depends. So everyone needs to focus on doing what they can while they can, enjoying it while they can, not think of it, of it as a chore or drudgery, but being independent is so important right now in this stage of your life because without it, you are going to have to rely on others all the time. And sometimes people are not as resilient to helping you. And you will find that there will be struggles between family members. And it's important that you understand that going forward in life, these are not going to be easy choices or easy things for people around you to understand or navigate or want to accept, but try to stay as independent as you can, as long as you can. I've completed giving you my agenda of how I don't let my gray hair define me. And those don'ts are pretty basic and straightforward. And if those are some of your don'ts, great. You may have additional ones that you need to look at that are in your life. But right now, I find that those are the major ones that I focus on. If you like this video, give it a share, a thumbs up, a like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Bye.